In this video, I explain the basics of analog security cameras. So keep watching. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Claudemir Martins and today I will talk about traditional analog security systems. I will show you guys some theory here on my computer and some devices here on my desk. But before we start, just hit the link below to download your free guide. Also, don't forget to subscribe and to leave your comments, your thumbs up. Okay, so let's go directly here in my computer to see the diagram that, that I have to show you guys. So let's start talking about CCTV training, basic, basic of analog systems. And here I have a diagram with traditional analog systems. So right here I have analog cameras to generate the images. Here in the middle I have the DVR, that's the digital video recorder. It's going to record the videos from the cameras. Then I have monitor station. It's a computer with a UTP cable, a network cable, I can connect directly to my DVR or I can connect to a router and then from the router to my monitor station. And then I can install a software here and I can monitor the DVR remotely and I can also configure the DVR remotely. And just right here, I have analog monitor, so I can connect a BNC cable, a coaxial cable here with BNC. I can connect also a VGA or a DMI cable. So the system is pretty basic. I have to generate the image with the cameras. I have to record the DVR and I have to see live with the monitor. I can see also live with my computer and I can also configure the DVR remotely using my computer. Just right here, I have a laptop. I could connect my laptop with a network cable to my DVR so I can configure the DVR. I can also see through the network. So let's just take a look here on the devices that I have. I have here a box camera, traditional box camera. Here, a bullet camera, PTZ camera, PTZ stands for pan, tilt, and zoom. So pan is this movement, tilt is this movement, and also has zoom on the lenses. So I can connect this to a DVR. I can remotely control this movement of the camera using the DVR or using a joystick. And here I have a traditional small dome camera, a mean dome camera, okay? And here in the desk, I also have some cables. I have here the coaxial cable RG59 and just right here I have RG6 it's a better cable connected to here to my DVR and connected here to this camera this is a four channel DVR so I have a here connection for four cameras I'm using just the first connection and then I have here an output for analog monitor and just right here below, I have a DMI connection for external monitor and also VGI, uh, VGA connection. Here, an input for audio. I can connect a microphone. I also have output. I can connect a speaker. Just right here, connection for the UTP cable, the network cable. Here, RS485. This is to control the PTZ camera. If I want to control the PTZ camera from the DVR, I need to run a cable from this connector to the camera. And just right here, I have a connection for the power supply and here to turn on and turn off the DVR. So pretty simple. I have also here, just right here, a USB connection. I can connect a, a pen drive here to back up my video. So it's pretty basic. There's no secret secret to work with this. It's not rocket science. Back here to the diagram, we can see that I can use uh, some cables like uh, RG59, RG6 or RG11 just to connect from the camera to the DVR and the DVR is going to convert from analog to digital and it's going to record here in the internal hard drive. So it's pretty basic. Here are the distances. I have RG59 for uh, 750 feet, feet, RG6 for 1000 feet and RG11 for 1500 feet. So depending on the installation of your camera, you need to use one cable or other cable because of the distance, okay? So pretty simple. That's all for today. Now you know a little bit more about cameras in general. In next video, I explain more details about configuration and about other stuff, okay? So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click the link below to download your free guide and leave your thumbs up. See you in the next video.